Angie Home Services certainly has been a home run investment. Angie up about 74% year to date. Company, uh, the owner of brands like Angie's List, Home Advisors, Home Stars, WorkSpot, just to add a few names there uh, that, that they do. And they reported better than expected results with their latest quarterly earnings. Joining us right now on Power Lunch Exclusive, Chris Terrell, who is the CEO of Angie Home Services. Good to see you. Thank Thanks you for having things. me. I appreciate it. Um, what did I see? Demand is up 30% in the last year alone? Yeah, today, and that's on our just marketplace uh, business. So we've seen service requests really doing well and growing. Our service provider base is growing. Uh, the business is healthy and had a good quarter. Has the demand always been there, but now the services are available, or what happened here? Yeah, I think the bigger picture is most of this has been happening offline. So you've got more friends, family, word of mouth, and you're starting to see it move digitally online. And so this is just a huge marketplace from the last big marketplace to kind of go from offline to online, and we're benefiting from that. We've got this incredibly tight labor market here in the U.S. I get that demand is soaring. What about the supply side of it? Yeah, so we've had good supply growth, both in terms of nominal ads, but also in terms of getting more out of service providers. So we're actually helping them with capacity, helping them do more jobs, be more efficient. Um, with that being said, we're concerned long term that we need more plumbers, more electricians. If you own a home, you need to encourage people. Yes, some need, need to go to college, but others might want to think about, you know, becoming a plumber and electrician. These are seventy, eighty thousand dollars a year jobs. Um, you have to use your brain and, and think through them, and, and I think uh, we all need more coming into the space over time. Are you getting involved in the pipeline level? Are you doing? Are you getting involved at all in the recruitment efforts? Yeah, we're, we're not as a company. I personally am. I'm on the Bell Commission in Colorado. We've got a big apprenticeship program. I'm working with other groups and trying to figure out how do we have different ways uh, for kids to think about that as a viable career down the road. It's. I mean, to me, if you can make seventy, eighty thousand a year, that's how you get the American dream. And you own a company, you can make hundreds of thousands. So. And often that happens without big college debt to pay off as well. Sometimes exactly. these kids are getting in early with apprenticeships, right. and then the companies themselves say, "Hey, we like you. We want to keep you. That's we'll send exactly you to right. two-year tech school." Uh, and, and so, and so, then what is the big challenge for you to continue this kind of growth? Uh, really, it's just execution. And in our case, this is a very complicated space. You're constantly balancing supply and demand and want to make sure you get it right. We think about our market as not one big national market. It's 200,000 little micro markets where I'm right. trying to make supply and demand work. And so we're constantly focusing. How do we get better? How do we get smarter? And how do we roll out the products that homeowners are really looking for in a digital age? So you know, we have our on-demand products. We can instantly connect, instant book, same-day service. Those are the types of things that millennials are interested in as they start to become first-time homeowners. And like all of us have kids and pay taxes and need help, we want to be there to help them. And you, I would imagine data plays a big role in that, that you're collecting a lot huge, of it. Huge, huge. I mean, we're, we have a massive data, whether it's the, the actual pricing uh, that we understand at a deep uh, zip code level through our true cost guide, but also we're looking at what's happening uh, behaviorally so that we better match uh, you know, the homeowner with the service provider for their specific task. It's one thing to know that someone can do your job, but can they do your job now? And that's what we're trying to fight, is that friction between getting the right two parties together at the right time.